Today's post is a pattern review of Makos M7542, a semi-fitted top that comes with sleeve variations. I actually got this pattern for free along with an issue of Love Sewing Magazine from last year. I made view D, the trumpet sleeve pattern in a size 10 and I cut the cup size A and B. This pattern actually comes with separate pattern pieces for different cup sizes, which is fantastic. Now, I love the combination of the fabric and this pattern and I love those trumpet sleeves. They're so statementy and full of drama. The length is quite short as you can see on there so I would seriously advise checking the nape to waist measurement before you cut into your precious fabric and before moving on to talking about anything else, I just wanted to point out how I finished the sleeves. So I used a special type of a finish using an industrial overlocker at the Stitch Room Social and it creates this fine, beautiful lettuce edge hem, I think is what it's called, but it's a really lovely finish. Now, if you see on there, when I lift my arms, the arm side is just slightly a little bit too snug and causes some bunching on the high bust line. And that's entirely my fault because this is a fitted top. The back pattern was supposed to be cut as two separate pieces with a center back seam, but I forgot to do that. I cut the back on a fold because I was talking and sewing, which isn't my forte. But it's something that I think I can fix and it's something I'm definitely going to try and fix because I like those sleeves. I mean, check them out. And if you like the sleeves as well, please do give this video a big thumbs up down below. I love those sleeves, especially how they move and I just want to move around. So I think it's worth trying to fix them. So I'm going to move on to showing you the interior shots of this particular project and what I have to say is this fabric, which is a cotton fabric that I bought in Zimbabwe while I was on holiday in 2016, I think, it's almost reversible. The differences are so subtle and a few times I'm pretty sure that I used the reverse side as the right side because I was sewing and talking and that doesn't work for me. Everything was finished with an overlocker and apart from my own user errors, I think that this is a great pattern. You've got all of those sleeve variations, which I definitely plan on making at some point. But I also like the fact that I will definitely use those sleeves on some other pattern. So I'm thinking a cocoa dress with trumpet sleeves would be absolutely epic. So it's, it's a great pattern to have. Definitely highly recommend it. And you'll be seeing me make more of this. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe for new sewing-related videos every week. Happy sewing. Bye.